Nvidia finally broke out of all-time high. Well, let me just present to you that yes, this breakout is a valid breakout, but I don't know why I think, in my opinion, we need to be very careful. So first, let's recap into Nvidia, what I've said in the previous video. I've said that this level here at 130 level, it's a very important level, so that was a previous high and that it should get supported. If it doesn't get supported, then there's a chance for price to move now. If it gets supported, there's a chance for price to break up, to break above its all-time high here. That's the all-time high. And based on yesterday, last night closing, this was a true breakout. That means it's truly breakout. But my experience in trading the US stocks and in trading the all-time high for this high-profile stocks is that the first time, I repeat, the first time will always not be a true breakout. But again, as a disclaimer, it might be different, but this is just purely my observation. And I'm just here to share. You might disagree with me, but I'm just going to show you what happened to Meta because I was trading Meta and it doesn't mean that what happened to Meta will definitely happen to Nvidia. I'm just bringing out that in case if it does happen, then what might be something that you can look to to counter a possible uh, wrong breakout. Okay, so this is Mita here, and obviously Mita had a breakout. But let me just roll back quickly to show you that this was, at that point of time, the all-time high of Mita. That means here was the all-time high of Mita. I'm just going to draw a line here. Okay. Then you saw that there was a breakout. That means that this was a true breakout, exactly as what happened to Nvidia. All right, and then this had a full bar breakout, but this was the first attempt of breaking out this all time high. So this was the first time. And then subsequently, price actually broke down. Okay, that means that it was like a failed breakout. Okay, so those who bought here. I right, would see if price is to come down, would see the position being washed and rinsed, a term that I coined in my strategy that I use. Okay, so this is the first time. So note that this was the first time of that break. And then this one was the second attempt, second time of that all-time high. But, you know, uh, when we have this high, then all-time high would be shifted to here. And in this case here, there wasn't any break. Okay, but this I would consider the second try. And then this was the first try. And the truly when Mita had a break, right, was during its third attempt meaning that this was the third time. So it, it's to me, I've traded many times. Uh, there are a few observations here, which I'm sharing, but not all the time it will be true. The first time that it attempted the all-time high, usually it will not be true, but you should see that it will make a higher low versus the previous low. And if you ever try the second time and it's still not true, you must see that the low is making also a higher low as compared to the previous low. Now, this says that bulls are willing to come in earlier to buy than versus the previous bull, versus the previous bull, right? So this shows strength in the stocks. And then subsequently, price will break the third time. Now, why is that so? See as weakening structure. For example, if you want to open a door and a door is shut and you don't have keys, right? Then what do you do? You have to bang the doors many times to weaken its structure. So by hitting that resistance zone many times, it is to weaken the structure and eventually to lead to a meaningful break. But very important, to break to the upside, price must show a higher low. Now back to NVIDIA. Now in NVIDIA case, this is the all-time high. And this to me is the first time. So if it is not successful, then we'll be looking for price to break down. All right. So in any case, uh, I will assume that this is a successful breakout. But if it's not successful, then you might want to also counter the movement with some bearish activities. Okay. So for example, to consider a short DLCs. So short gen just offered its uh, short DLCs in NVIDIA and it also offered DLCs in the seven magnificent stocks, huh? which uh, consists of Amazon, Tesla, uh, Microsoft, 
and then uh, we have Apple as well, okay, and, and the M7 basically. So if, if let's say price doesn't break upwards and it break down, then, you know, might want to consider the short DLCs to hedge into your position. So I've listed down SoapGem website here. So this is a SoapGem website and you can go to the website to look for DLCs. And you can go to the website to look for NVIDIA DLCs. It offers the long DLCs, which you will benefit when it goes up and offers the short DLCs, which you will benefit when NVIDIA is to move down. All right, I hope that this video is useful to talk about if it's ever you know, break the all-time high, what you need to observe. So to repeat, uh, from my observation, usually the first try will not be successful. As I said, uh, this is my observation. Sometimes it will be successful. Okay, but my observation is that most of the time, the first try will not be successful. And if it ever moves down, it needs to make a higher low. All right. Thanks a lot for your time. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to be updated as soon as I release the next video. And I'll see you in my next video.